let me ask you in terms of cloud students and graduates go through, you know, they talk a lot about their IT based skills and mm -hmm. you know, file management and mm -hmm. handling large amounts of data and things like that. You know, what are the kinds of skills that that, that you encounter, you know, with, with, with the folks that you work with, you know, that, that relate to that, that, that that the people need to know. Yeah, I think any technologist, uh, you know, nowadays needs to be able to very effectively relate what are extraordinarily complicated technical ideas in a way that's much more digestible by someone who doesn't do that for a living, right? I mean, a lot of what our role is in the in the production and then the technology group is to help our counterparts who don't know or need to know or want to know or have any function of their job to know what it is that we do, but need to understand where we fit into the process and how our pieces fit together in a very effective way. And so I think any, any successful technologist has the ability to communicate what are very advanced concepts in a way that is easy and efficient to digest. And that doesn't mean like make it you know, dumb it down. I hate the uh, the concept of dumbing it down because often it isn't dumbing it down, it's sort of smartening it up because technical terms are often esoteric for the sake of being esoteric, like there's no real reason for it. And so it's really about sort of smartening up the language that you use around describing how things fit together, describing how processes work. And I think that Technology professionals that are able to do that are incredibly effective. So, so be, be able to you know, understand your technology, but but also be able to to translate that and, and work with other people that are making decisions that may not understand all the technical aspects. Absolutely. And when we're doing that, when everyone is communicating at that level in a very sort of open exchange, then we get very cool things done, right? And it doesn't mean that everyone that works at, let's say, Google is a you know third degree black belt coder. Not at all. I mean, they have everyone from HR professionals to marketing professionals to, you know, videographers to, you know, people who make the, these delicious little puff pastry things they have in their cafeteria. But the thing is, is that they have incredibly effective communicators throughout their teams. And if you look at any successful company that has a big technology component, you'll find extraordinarily effective communicators in every area that has to operate together. And that's why they're effective. You know, companies that have a real struggle in either evangelizing their technology or making their technology work for their non-technology product or whatever, you'll find that there's a communication breakdown. The people in marketing don't understand what the technology group does and the technology group doesn't uh, understand or respect what the marketing group does. And when we, we sort of have teams like that, they become highly ineffective very quickly. And so when you look at effective groups, it's, it's because they're good communicators. And I think that, again, the best technologists are the best communicators because that's it's really our job. It's to make things easily digestible. Right, one, one last question. What, where do you see the direction of technology going in terms of, you know, we, we used to think of technology as a, a cost center or something that was right. necessary or whatever. Right. You know, you know where, where is the industry going as far as now technology driving you know, being a driving force behind innovation and things like that. Yeah, I mean, if, if you look at where technology has taken us in just the last 10 years, I think in the next 10 years, we'll probably see things that, A, I think it's kind of hard to, to estimate where we're going to be because I think you never know what technology is going to kind of deflect and push us in a different, in a different sort of area. I do think the idea of sort of, uh, you know, augmented reality and what that means to the world at large, not the, I want to have a, you know, a render a pink elephant uh, on my coffee table. I think that stuff is neat and it's an interesting demo, but I think when you, when you sort of start to think about the idea of eliminating the screen and instead reinforcing that information in AR, why do you need a screen if you know something can be sort of projected in your visual field? And then think about how does that change entertainment? How does that change everything from banking to social networking, um, you know, how does that sort of, you know, and I think that the technologists that are being trained today need to be thinking very aggressively about technology is now an integral part of our day-to-day -day life. It's how we communicate, it's how we interact, it's how we are entertained, uh, you know, it's how we plan, it's how we get on airplanes, it's how we, everything, right? It's, it's so woven into not just our day-to-day -day life, but our society on whole, that thinking about how, you know, small changes in the platform that we all live on 
really can make a big impact on the way that we live sort of day to day. And I think, you know, futurists, technology futurists, whatever, are thinking about that a lot. So everything from elimination of the screen to, um, you know, obviously way, way more artificial intelligence, hopefully not to a level of wiping out humanity, but, uh, you know, just short of that. Just get there and then dial it back a little bit. Um, you know, but I mean, I think all of that stuff is like, it's very in the conversation. And that sounds like future James Cameron stuff, but that future is five or 10 years from now. That isn't 20 years in the future, 25 years in the future. And, and, and to your, 10 years in the past, you know, Know, what we're doing today was very futuristic. So, Absolutely. Yeah. No, we are living in the, f the future is now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you All so right. much, Stephen. Thanks very much. Have a great day. I appreciate, I appreciate you stopping by and spending time with us. So. Absolutely happy to All be right. here. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.